Hey guys, Simon here. So it's Tuesday, I'm uh, just about to jump on my group call with my guys. Uh, I'm really excited about the level of results that my guys are getting at the moment, and um, that's not the reason I'm, why I'm doing this video. Uh, earlier, I jumped on the call with a Fit Pro, and uh, maybe you get this in your business. Um, they jumped on the call, and I said, you know, I want to see how I can help you, see if we're maybe a fit to do some stuff together, and, and instantly, um, they jumped on the defensive and they were like, you know, I don't have any money to spend and, you know, I just want to kind of get on the call and get some free stuff and instantly in that moment I was, I, I knew that I needed to relax this, relax this person because their barriers are up, right? They, they think they're being sold to but the very thing which she was presenting to me in this kind of, the way that she was verbalizing it is the very thing that is going to happen in her business, okay? So she didn't see that link between the two. Um, and I just, I just relaxed her and said, look, I want to help you because I want to help people. And of course, if people want to invest and take it to that next level, then of course I'm going to present them with the opportunity. But I've got to, first of all, provide value, see if I can help someone. And then if it's a fit to work together, then maybe we'll talk about the opportunity. But it's not about that. Um, you know, we're all running the business, okay? Um, but if we jump on any call and talk to people, like we want to, as people and and people that want to help people we want to provide value but you're gonna get people that have the barriers up initially okay and so she wanted to jump off the call um, but I wouldn't allow her to because I wanted to help her because she said I got no money I've you know I'm just in this place and I just you know if you're gonna sell me something I said look let me help you just relax if, if you're in the place right now in this frame of mind I'm not gonna be able to serve you so we had a discussion and it turns out She's running this studio and uh, she's running a Zumba studio and she's got uh, lots of classes. She's got she's a single mum. She's struggling. She's not getting by. She's earning little and genuinely I want to help her. And it turned out that, you know, we're not going to be able to work together. But maybe in the future, a situation will change. So I genuinely wanted to help her anyway. And I want to tell you what happened in the conversation, because I think it's really going to significantly help her and maybe you know someone that's in this situation it may be able to help so we discussed and we set some goals and I reframed some things in her brain to help her think about uh, the business differently in the way that she's not setting goals for herself and the real three things that are required to build a six-figure business and we went into that on the call as I do with everyone and it turns out that she's just doing the classes but she's not doing any kind of personal training or semi-private but she doesn't have the money to do the course and she doesn't have the she can't borrow the money. She's invested about 15000 in the studio. So she's in this diff difficult predicament whereby she could actually be doing personal training and introducing semi-private and making a significant income as my guys do. And um, But she just literally said to me, look, I just don't have the money even to get to the money for the course together. And that might be, you know, a thousand, couple of thousand. Well, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you know how much it is. Because if you don't know how much it is and where you're going, you're never going to get there. So... What I suggested was this, with my hand on my heart, and I said, look, I've spent this time on this call with you now, it's been 45 minutes, and I just seriously want to help you, hand on my heart, because I want you to have a fantastic life with your son, so that he, you know, gets what he wants, and so mummy's happy, because in the, the space that mum was in that place on the call, it's, she's not going to be able to get the things in her brain to be able to find the solutions that she wants. So I said, look, you've got this studio, you've got these members, why don't you go to them and stand in front of them and say, look, I, I want to help you guys. And I really want to, at the moment, I, I want to serve at a different level. But I want to do this personal training course and I'm just not in a position to do it right now. And it's just the business, I, as much as I love you guys, it's just, you know, I, I need to step it up a level to, to bring in a level of income to help my son, but also to, to take the results to another level. So um, I really want to do this personal training course. So I want to do this. I want to offer to maybe three or four of you the chance to work with me for you know 12 weeks and I want you to um, I want to get you amazing results when I when I do this qualification but I'm looking for three or four people to to pre-buy into the package so I'm going to over deliver and for those three or four that that invest in me to help me do this qualification as soon as I've qualified you're going to get the most amazing level of service and I guarantee that if she does that with a level of passion that she has for these people 
not only will they invest with her, but they will stay with her for a very long period, much longer beyond the 12 or 16 weeks that she actually offers them. So you just need to get resourceful. You need to think, you need to look and go, look, I've got people here that want my help. They're pay, currently paying for classes, but I want to do this personal training course. You know, I can't afford to, to um, I can't afford to, to pay for the course right now, but you know, I'm going to be doing it. So who would like to invest in advance for the amount of training that I'm going to offer in terms of a package and then have these people put her through the course and because they're going to feel a sense of satisfaction from helping her help her child, they're also going to get know that when she qualifies it they're going to be helping her they're going to, she's going to be taking her their results sorry to another level and everyone's going to feel fantastic because those that are helping her are going to feel significant she's going to feel a great sense of satisfaction that she's doing this thing she's going to serve them to the level, level that she has never served anyone before and everyone's going to be in a uh, in a great situation now the challenge with this is is, is is she going to go away and take action on it? Well, there's a fear that may come across. You know, what are people going to think? What happens if people judge me? And she needs to step over that. But if she does, she's going to have a great result. Not only she's going to get the training paid for, um, but also it's going to really, really um, build those relationships and connections. And, you know, sometimes you just need to put your hand on his heart and say, look, I'm not in the position that I want to be right now. And you do sometimes need to call out for help. Um, and so you can get resourceful. So I hope that, hope that video is useful. Comment below what your thoughts. Um, is this something that you could have done prior to doing your personal training course or are you in that position now and is that useful for you? I hope that served you to help you um, just to get it in your mind that sometimes you can actually be resourceful and, and create a situation for yourself that's awesome. Take it easy.